Hi, I'm Colleen Reynolds. Welcome to my studio for exploring watercolor in Carson City, Nevada. For today's tutorial, we're going to paint Gemstones and Garth. It's a transparent watercolor of a lovely little corgi dog. And as a special guest, in today's audience, we have my little to join us in painting her favorite dog, Corgis. So the first thing I want to do is get the paper wet. So I have clean water and I'm just going to get the back first and get it really wet with my big brush. That's all I use this brush for is this getting paper wet. And I have a special board called Gator Board that's waterproof and stiff so it can handle watercolor. And then I'll turn it over. And there's, puppy. there's Puppy that I've drawn from a picture on my iPad, as you saw. You were my witness. And I try to be really gentle so I don't mess up the paper because the paper is kind of sensitive. It doesn't like to be handled too much. You know how you don't like strangers coming up and hugging on you? That's what the paper feels like too. It doesn't like to be touched too much. So you have to be gentle. Okay. Then, while that gets really wet, I'm going to let it sit there a minute. I've got to figure out what colors I'm going to use. So this is my palette. Have you worked with the palette before? Mm. So I'm going to use a red, a blue, and a yellow. So I just put out this color. It's called Lapis Lazuli. It's kind of a light gray-blue color. It might be too old. That's from Stevie the Lapis Lazuli. It's a, if it, it is a very expensive pigment. Remember we were using those? Yeah. Because it's um, a gemstone. Yeah, a gemstone from Steven Universe. <laughs> and from Steven Universe, too. Um, so this is the paint. Are you recording that? I am. Can they hear you? They can hear me. I don't know if they can hear you. Hello. We're not live streaming. But everybody, this is Riley out there. I can put a picture of you up if you want. Sure. We'll do that. Yeah. And I'll send you the video. How's that? Okay. So I'm just getting this. My lapis lazuli might be too old. Mm -hmm. But it'll be fun, huh? Because it's from your steaming Steven Universe. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll put the picture of you as a portrait up on the video. What do you think? So I'm just going to get some mixed up to about medium strength out here. So i got to make sure that's all dissolved. See how it's kind of a nice pretty gray green or gray blue? Yeah. It's perfect for dog hair that's white in shadows. Yeah, and it sparkles a little bit too because it's a gemstone. Mm -hmm. You knew that, huh? So I brought it out specially for you. How's that? Yay! Yay. I'm going to get all that I can, not waste any. So that'll be my blue. And then I want a yellow because I've got to have yellow to make orange, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring the yellow that kind of already looks a little orange and pull that out from the well put it in there and then I'm going to take some red so red, yellow, and blue are primary colors, right? It looks like pee-pee water Does it? <laughs> Baby poop yellow <laughs> It's a little brighter than that when you're not on looking at the camera but it's <laughs> No, it's just an orangey yellow. It's really pretty. 
It was when I was about your age. I was in my favorite color in the 64 pack crayon bag, that yellow orange. It's my favorite color for years. My favorite color used to be pink, but now it's blue, purple, and green. Blue, purple, and green. Mm -hmm. And now lapis lazuli blue, lapis lazuli specifically in the blue tones. Any type of blue is like a pretty color. In me. Any blue, okay, it's yeah. a pretty color. Especially I think. The yeah, like ultramarine. Okay. So now that I know what colors I'm going to use, i got to get the water off my painting. But I want to get it really soaked so that it stays wet a long time while I'm painting. So I can get a different effect when it's wet. But I don't want that much wet. So. Huh? We could have an interaction on camera. I could actually. Okay. Right now, you want to? Sure. Okay. Let's see. Let me get. I'll stop this recording for now. Okay. So now we have a dual sound system going. So, Riley, say hello. Hi. Riley's watching this today. Yeah. So now I'm going to turn the paper over and I'm going to soak up the water on the back because remember we, we wet the back. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to soak it up on the back mm -hmm. with clean paper towel and this will help it stay wet longer on the front. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. and then while I hold it up by the corner. I'll wipe off my board, and you have to tell me if I ever get off camera, okay? Thank you. you have a responsibility here. Okay, so in my picture, I want to really exaggerate the white light on the picture. I don't know if you can see the picture from where you are. Good. So see where the white is? Yeah. I'm going to just dry off that part mm -hmm. and that'll help me be able to I'm going to do the outside of the dog first mm -hmm. so and save the white so I'm just going to drive off where I want to save the white mm -hmm. and then I'll leave the rest all kind of swimmy mm -hmm. and wet because then the paint flows around better. Okay, so I'm going to start with your favorite blue. Lapis lazuli. And I'm just going to carve around the white. See that? And let it just kind of swim out into the grass. And when it gets to the grass part, I'll put in a little yellow because blue and yellow make green, huh? And see how where I dried it, it's keeping a strong edge. But where it's all wet, it just kind of blends together. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? I think I'm going to have to get some darker blue too, so I'm going to pull out some ultramarine blue because I can't get dark enough with that lazuli. See, I'm just letting it swim in there together. Mm -hmm and letting all the colors mix on the paper. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So what two colors do I need to make orange? Mm -hmm. I think red and yellow. Very good. So I'm going to bring in some red. See how he turns orange there? Yeah. So I'm going to put yellow first and then come up around the ear and then put the red in. See how that turns it orange? Mm -hmm. Isn't that, Isn't that cool? cool? Mm -hmm. Just turned all orange. You know something weird? What? You don't, you don't do, do art until 7th grade, grade like, like unless you have like the um... Super talent like you? No. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get, get the art class. 
till seventh grade, but you're in sixth, so that's only one more year, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make it to seventh, though. I think you will. I have confidence. So how come they make you wait that long? What do you think? I don't know, but at my old school, not Seelagrid, because Seelagrid didn't have art at all. But, um, so see how here where it's white but it's in shadow? See how nice the lapis lazuli looks? Yeah. It's perfect, huh? Mm -hmm. For the shadows that are white but shadowy white. That's why I like your favorite color. <laughs> For white shadows. So see how I'm just building up the colors? Mm -hmm. And when I want gray, I need all the colors. So when I get to the nose, I have to put all three colors in, mm -hmm. or all four colors. So isn't that neat how that works? Yeah. Can you see the dog yet? Mm -hmm. uh, we got a little more work to do. Let's put his nose in. That'll help see the dog, huh? Yeah, the dog then the dog will pop out. So we'll use the darker blues to start with. And a little bit of red to make him brown down. See how this side it's all wet and swimmy? Mm -hmm. I like that. But over here, it hopefully it'll be a little stronger edge where I drop, dried it off. You see the dog yet? Should we put in eyeballs? Yeah. That'll help us see the dog, huh? This is I. Are you bored? No. It's not boring to watch a painting? No, it's cool, huh? I love to watch paintings happen. See his eye? Yeah. Pretty neat. Let's get a little more red in there to make it darker. A little more of the dark blue. There's his little eye. Okay, now, now you see it. It's looking like a dog. Let's get that little dark nose in there. And this little dark mouth. Cute, huh? You see him? Is he coming out? He's just popping right out, huh? It's almost magic, isn't it? art in drawing. So you do a lot of drawing with pencils and stuff, right? Yeah. So painting is really just drawing with colors. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? I my Dorito bag. You finished it? Yeah. Does it look good? Yeah, can I show the camera? Sure. You have to bring it to me because I got this. Mm -hmm. So here's Riley's Doritos bag. Isn't she good? $2.98. And they have smiley faces, but maybe not. We erase that. It's 140 calories per, per package. Very good. So she has to do a drawing for advertising, huh? Yeah, Seems like a great Nice. That's good. And here you are almost done. And it was fun. Oh, do you want colored pencils? I have some. If you give me just a second while it's still nice and wet, I'll get you some colored pencils. Is it a deal? Mm -hmm. See how we got to get in there while he's wet. You see the dog? Yeah, I definitely feel the dog now. Seeing him? Once you get those features in there a little bit, he really shows up, huh? Yeah. 
So should we paint behind here? I'm going to turn them upside down for a minute so that I can use the pointy end of my brush because I'm right-handed like you. So I'm going to find this outside. This is where I want it to be wet so I can get soft colors back in here. See how if I go in when it's wet, they swim around together? Yeah. It's fun. That's what makes watercolor fun. And then I'll put some yellow in there so it looks like grass. Mm -hmm. And some more of your lapis lazuli. See the that really helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Really helped to pull out that top part. Now it's looking like a doggo. So we'll come down here and find the outside of the dog. So this is what we call negative painting. Mm -hmm. We're not painting the dog, we're painting around the dog. But when we paint around the dog, it makes it look like the dog is there. Because I got a little yellow and a little red in there. So if you mix all three primary colors, that's what happens. It turns grayish brown. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I have um, English period. period. We're working on dog for purpose. Uh huh. And we have, we have like this little thing, thing like kind of like a sticky note that sticks out on the side. That says dog. dog. And <laughs> instead of writing dogs, I wrote doggos. And I showed Mr. Smith, he's like, like, like doggos? I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's what I call dogs. <laughs> doggos. So I want to make that white pop. So I'm going to paint dark on the other side of it. So now you see the dog, huh? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, huh? You could do this. Couldn't you? If they ever let you have an art class. So see how when the paper's wet, it just kind of swims around and stays all soft and pretty. Mm -hmm. I like it. actually looks like a dog when they come at you. What's that? It looks like a dog when they come at you. Ooh, yeah. See the York, what do we call these? Corgis. Corgi dogs. Okay, so I'm going to come down in here and get the shadows. So over here with Lavis Lazuli, our favorite. See how that works for the shadows? Perfect, huh? It's a good thing you came today because I wouldn't have remembered about that color. Okay, then it gets dark over here, so I gotta get the dark part. So I use the blue and the red when I wanna get dark. Because there's already yellow there, it'll be kind of brown. Pretty cool, huh? Get the dark here. Let it mix on the paper. And since the paper's wet, everything is all soft and cool looking. This is this dark hair back here. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Do I have to turn? Huh? Dark color doggo, yeah. And then it kind of goes yellow more. So we'll get the yellow and the red. I have an answer for you. What's your favorite kind of dog? It's hard. I like all dogs. I like um, German Shepherds. I like Black Labs. When I was a little girl, we had Mutt. That was a black Mutt. And he kind of was a cross between a an Australian Shepherd mm -hmm. and a Black Lab and 
the rumor had it, a wolf, but I don't know if that was true. <laughs> Might have been a family wife's tale. Maybe we have a dog that like any, any, any type of dog that is a corgi, I will definitely obsess over. So definitely corgis. Definitely corgis. Well, that's why I painted this one today. <laughs> See what an inspiration you are to me. Does it look like a corgi? Mm -hmm. Starting to, huh? Starting to pop out a corgi. What if they like need like, like a drawing of a corgi? Give it to Jess. It would look like her uh, corgi jet. What if you did? She might actually pay you for it or something. <laughs> People do pay artists to paint their paintings. Okay, so now we got to work up the darks around the eyes now that it's a little bit drier. We don't want them to be too swimmy. Oops, that's too red. Let's get some more blue into that. So are you pleased we use lapis lazuli? Yeah. That was fun, huh? Mm -hmm. There's his little eye. Let's see if I can. I may have to dry it off a little bit before I can do the whole thing. But that's kind of his eye there. Get it a little darker. And then if you look through that window, you see, you see the dog. It kind of looks, looks like it's a picture, picture of the dog. <laughs> Which window? Oh, cool. So have you ever watched a painting happen before? Um, yeah. On just on YouTube or in real life? On YouTube. So this is your first real life painting watching? Yeah. Whoa. Is it better in real life? Especially since you can talk. <laughs> and you might ever be able to watch the video later with your own voice on it. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I bet you my voice will have like a boy's voice. voice. I, I swear, swear I'm a girl. <laughs> you don't sound like a boy. Like on everything else. Like, like when, when I call, I call my friends and like their parents hear me, like, oh, I'm talking to a boy. They're like, no. Like, no. I don't know. I think you sound very much like a girl. Oh, maybe not on the phone. Okay, I'm going to make this really dark back here. I forgot that part <laughs> before it gets too dry. See how dark that is right there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that dark. Really dark. Do you ever use black on your No. I don't because uh, I think it kind of comes out as flat. Mm -hmm. And I like it to be bright and light and happy and pretty. Mm -hmm. So now that popped that out, huh? Yeah. And then we have to soften this because we don't want the background to take over. We want it to be more about the dog, huh? Mm -hmm. Let the go. Let the dog go. Garth. Mm -hmm. Is it Garth or Garth? Garth as in Garth Brooks. Do you know that singer? Mm -hmm. Kind of. He's a country western guy. And he says, I've got friends in low places. Yeah, it might be a little old, like me. It's from a long time ago. Pee pee water. <laughs> you need to drink more water if you need this pee pee water. <laughs> so that's his tag. I think this is a little too harsh right there. It's a little too wet to kind of work too many details. So now I'm going to take some paint off. That's why I have this towel here. 
Mm. You know how doggies see the whites of their eyes when they look sideways? Yeah. I'm lifting that off right there. It's definitely looking like a dog, huh? Yeah. And this is kind of bleeding a little too much, so I might have to dry this off a little bit before I continue too much more. Does it look like a corgi dog, though? That's the question. I think it looks like corgi. Yeah. So I'm going to turn the recording off. So mm -hmm. see that little middle button? Yeah, press that. Yeah. Is it going? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're back. And we're going to finish up the corgi. I almost like it like that, huh? Yeah. It's kind of cool. Should we just do a little bit around the eyes? Okay. Got to zoom in on my painting here. And get my really strong paint and just do his eyes a little bit more pronounced. Can you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring that out a little bit. It is 20 minutes to five. So we have about 20 minutes before I have to end this fun mm -hmm. and take you home. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. So we're just going to do the little details. These are my fun things. See, to do the little hairs. So you put the little hairs down and then just kind of mess them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> still looks like people. This was? Where the red is? Where the red is? No, the red, the red water. The red water. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I hope you're... And then there's a few people. Oh, in there. Yeah, okay. That's just... The, the container is dark. That's all. <laughs> it's actually pretty clean. Okay, so we're going to do a little detail on the nose. Not too much. And a little bit there. Around his mouth. I think that needs to go out a little further. Now, now he's starting to look like a dog, huh? Totally? Yeah. I think so. So we'll blend it out a little bit. Well, I think you're the only 11 year old that would like this as much as me. <laughs> My future artist. See this little whisker? Freckles. So we put them in there and then we'll mess them up a little bit. Cool, huh? Okay, now I'm going to do this little detail around the ear. And I think this is a little too bright. So I'm going to make it a little browner. Over here. Bring out the ear. So, I gotta do the editing so we can get our collaborative effort out pretty soon, huh? Yeah. Oh no, I gotta go to Reno and teach a class tomorrow, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know when I'll have time. 
Okay, I just want to get some lapis lazuli and find the outside. Up here and then underneath. Not too much more with that. Do too much more, he starts to get not as cool. A little, little bit there. See, look like a corgi. Mm -hmm. He looks a lot like a quirky. Does it look like Garth? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know Garth, she says. You know how much we just cracked it recess? How much? Like 50 billion times. Why do you think? Like Why do you think? Do you have a frog in it? I have no clue. Okay, I'm just going to find a little bit of detail down in here with that lapis lazuli. Find this little tag. Make some hair. It's cool, huh? Yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. Maybe next time you could paint. <gasps> think let me get some kind of murky brownish yellow just hint at some color right there I think he's really cute and Gotta get this shadow, that's gonna be cool. You ready for cool? Mm. Ready for super cool, super cool. Get this really dark. And I'm gonna find this little shadow right there. It's all dramatic, huh? Let me put in the darks. Get some orange, blend it out. Give him hair, huh? That's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm just gonna find that little red tag. And there's little writing and stuff on there. Get a little dark bit. Does it look like his little tag holder? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Again, painting around things kind of neat way to find things. A little dark part there. Pop out that silver. There's a little tag. <laughs> That's what makes him Garth. I think he's almost done. What do you think? Mm. If you look through that window right there, definitely look at the picture. 
Oh, oh, I see it. It's reflecting. Yeah. Oh, cool. You want to take a picture of it? Yeah. Is that what you're asking, or? No, I'm just saying how it looks like a picture, like you took a picture of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to call that done, except I don't like this hard edge back here. <laughs> Blend that out. Back in there. Crazy. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's just like that. There's a dog on a white piece of paper. Yeah. Do I need to do anything else? I think it looks Okay. Just want to do one more thing here, I think. His muzzle is a little darker. Mm -hmm. Around there. See, it's hard to stop. Just keep wanting to do one more thing. Okay, and then I'm going to pull up a little bit of light back in here, light spots, just to soften that back. Well, thanks for watching, Riley. That was fun for me. And you got your homework done too. Yeah, That's the coolest part of all. And I'm gonna find that <coughs> ear. Just a couple little more darks to make him look hairy. Impressive, huh? Impressive. And a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay. I forgot to record it, that's why.